Hi guys, this is Oliver and welcome back to another episode of my Oliver Ekman 2023 Halloween special and today we are going to review Totally Killer, a brand new slasher horror movie from Amazon Prime produced by Jason Blum. I love, love horror movies and in particular I love slasher horror movies, some of my favorite horror movies of all time or slasher horror movies. It's easily the best horror subgenre, in my opinion. And I also love Amazon Prime. I love, love The Boys. It's the best show out there, and I'm really enjoying Gen V so far. So when I heard that Amazon Prime were collaborating with Blumhouse on a slasher horror movie, I was over the roof excited for it. Totally Killer is about a teenage girl who whose mom gets killed by a serial killer known as the Sweet 16th Killer. So now she must travel back in time to prevent her mom's death from happening. It's basically like Back to the Future meets Scream. So, and I love both of those movies, so I'm very excited for it. And I really, really like time travel movies. I loved The Flash movie, such an amazing movie. I have not one, but two time travel movies on Blu-ray. I really like both of these movies. So yeah, without further ado, let's review the movie. Let's do this. As always, let's start off with what I loved about the movie. First of which, uh, or the killer himself in this movie, the sweet 16th killer, was awesome in this movie. Such a great villain, he really was very brutal. And the opening scene when he, he kills the mom was brutal and awesome, it really was. His kills and stabbing in this movie were very brutal and intense. Like for example, the scene when he kills that one girl on the waterbed was amazing. I love in horror movies whenever there's a, a scene involving a waterbed. I loved loved the the waterbed scene in The Conjuring Free. Such an amazing and scary scene. It really was. I also really liked our main protagonist of the movie, Jamie. She was great in the movie and I loved her dad, Blake, played by Lachlan Monroe, who is famous for playing in the Black Hood in Riverdale. He was amazing in the movie, he really was. I loved him in Riverdale and I loved him yet again in this movie. He is such an amazing actor, he really is. And his performance in this movie was amazing as always. And it's like he is one of the best characters in this movie and he was only in the movie for five minutes. I also really really liked the scene when they, they were at the carnival and the killer was chasing them in the haunted house as well as the climax of the movie in the quantum drop also in the amusement park. Both of these scenes were amazing like so good so damn good i love it in horror movies whenever there's a sequence uh, that takes place at an amusement park i loved the the carnival scene in h chapter 2 and i loved the carnival scene in this movie and in particular the quantum drop climax in the movie it was very creative I, I and i love when the killer was walking on, on the walls and like i love that i was so creative and so cool and so unique and yeah it was perfect such a perfect scene it really was it was perfect Perfect. Everything. Let's move on with what I did not like about the movie. First of which, the rest of the characters were, I wasn't really the biggest fan of. When Jamie travels back in time to prevent her mom from dying, she meets a younger version of, of her mom. And she was so unlikable, so rude, and her friends were also stupid. It's the whole point of the movie that you're, you're supposed to be rooting for Jamie to prevent her mom from dying. But it's hard to do that when she's so unlikable. And I think easily the worst thing about this movie was that the characters were so stupid at times. And in particular, the black guy in this movie was just the worst. He was such an asshole. It wasn't even funny. Such an idiot. And then also Jimmy Woo uh, from the MCU, he was in this movie and it was cool to see him in the movie but like he was also very stupid and, and Jamie tried to try to warn him about the killer killing and then he didn't believe her. Like what? If I was the main character of this movie, the movie w would have gone a lot faster because I'm way smarter than the characters in this movie. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better, I am better. And even though I loved the, the killer in this movie, the sweet 16th killer, he wasn't in this movie that much. Like every, every time he was on screen, I was glued to the screen, but he wasn't in this movie a whole lot. I really wish he was more in the movie. Totally Killer was such an amazing movie, it really was. Uh, I really, really liked this movie, I really enjoyed this movie, it was so much fun. At times, uh, I, I thought it was really, really funny, and uh, there were a lot of great 
movie references and pop culture references. But like I said before, this movie is basically like Back to the Future meets Scream, and they mentioned uh, both him in this movie, and I really liked that. I thought that was really funny. So at least um, they're admitting that they're copying the, both, the, both of those movies. And this movie kind of reminded me a lot of the Flash movie. Both movies are about the main character of the movie preventing time traveling and preventing their mom from, from, from being killed. Uh, so it, both movies have pretty similar stories, except the Flash movie goes in different directions. And both movies were released in 2023. If I compare the Flash movie and this movie, I think the Flash movie is still way better because the characters are way better and the acting is way better. But I still really, really like this movie. Uh, re and I really like time travel movies in general. This movie felt like a breath of fresh air because 2023 has been such a terrible year for horror movies. Megan was mediocre at best. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey was very forgettable. Knock at the Cabin was very forgettable. 65 was very forgettable. Cocaine Bear was shit. Scream 6 was shit. The only good horror movies of 2023 were this movie, uh, No One Will Save You, and Insidious 5. I loved, loved Insidious 5. Such an amazing movie, it really was, and it's easily the best Insidious movie in the franchise. And such a blast experiencing that movie with my best friend Ayil. I highly recommend watching this movie, it's streaming on Amazon Prime. If you're someone who loves both Back to the Future and Scream, then I highly recommend checking this movie out. Anyways guys, that's it for my movie review of Totally Killer. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I really hope you've enjoyed my Halloween special so far. And it's very exciting because we are getting closer and closer to Halloween. So that's freaking awesome. I'm very, very excited for Halloween. It's freaking awesome. And it's really nice doing these horror movie reviews with you guys. And comment down below what has been the best horror movie review of my Oliver Ekman 2023 Halloween special so far. Previously, we've done Friday the 13th, No One Will Save You, Exorcist and so much more. Let me know in the comments down below. That's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.